Hey guys, I'm here to do a quick pick a card on what action should my lover and I take towards each other. Uh, this could be your lover, your crush, your soulmate, your twin flame. Um, it's a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. Should it resonate with you, please like, subscribe, share, or comment. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, uh, all of my information is in the description box below. So let's take a deep breath. What actions should my lover and I take towards one another? Pick card one, two, or three. And let's get started. Card number one. Let's find out what the heart of the matter is for those who chose number one. Please be as clear as possible. What is the heart of the matter for those who chose card number one? Please be as clear as possible. Thank you. Card that popped out is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Worth waiting for. You chose card number one. You got worth waiting for. What? Action should. First card that popped out is the Knight of Pentacles. What action should the people who chose card number one take towards their lover? What action should their lover take towards them? What should they be aware of? Please be as clear as possible. Card number two is the Tower. What action should the people who chose card number one take towards their lover? Hangman. What action should the people who chose card number one take towards their Whoa. Last card is the star. All right, guys. So bottom of the deck, we have the hermit card. So if you chose card number one, what I see right now is that you are in, you or your lover, remember this is a general reading so it can go either way, but you and or your lover are um, deliberating, taking some time apart from one another. I see that in both the hangman and the hermit card. So you're in a hermit mode right now. You're trying to find a new perspective. Um to focus upon um, after this tower moment. Tower moments are all about breakdowns for breakthroughs, right? Um, foundations that were built in the clouds are broken down so that they can be stabilized, right? Brought back down to earth, balance, whatever the case may be, whatever was lacking or whatever was out of balance, out of whack, is being brought back into alignment. Um, so I feel like there, um, someone was taken for granted in this particular relationship. Someone was taken for granted, um, and someone was holding back. Someone was was withdrawn from this connection. Um, that could have been caused by some financial issues. That could have been caused by um, the the imbalance itself in the relationship. Um, but ultimately and subconsciously what was happening was they were going through an awakening. They were going through or someone, maybe even both of you, because there are three major arcana cards here. You have the hangman, the star, and the tower card, right? And then again, at the bottom of the deck, you had the hermit. So that's four. So maybe even both of you at this time are going through some type of, um, spiritual awakening the paradigm that you found yourself in was too small you had outgrown it and it was time for you all to move into something else into a greater expanded awareness right and so i do see that you someone is moving towards the other someone wants to make an offer um 
but there's some healing that needs to take place because someone is feeling a little neglected. Neglected in that when one person broke away and was focused on their own problems and own situations, the other was trying to nurture them. They probably had some anxieties. There's some toxicities in this relationship um, that broke down, I feel like, communication. Um, again, could have been some money issues and um, just a lack of gratitude. Got the Four of Cups again. A lack of gratitude, um, being withdrawn, um, taking the relationship for granted, uh, rejecting offers could have could have been somebody who wanted to start and stop start and stop and so now they they want to move forward but they are indecisive about how to move forward there's this offer here that they like to give but the knight of pentacles is the slowest moving knight in, of all the knight cards so they're moving very slowly because they're trying to find another perspective they have hope that um, there can be some type of reconciliation or maybe just communication. But at this stage of the game, there's a lot of conflict, both mentally and physically. There are a lot of people who are involved in this situation and a lot of toxicity that needs to be sifted through. Um, I do feel like a message will come through. Um, but I, I don't feel like with this worth waiting for card as the heart of the matter I, and with the hangman card here, I feel like divine timing um, and divine intervention are what you should wait for. I think you should move when you are guided to move. Try not to take the situation into your own hands and um, take actions um, that are imbalanced, meaning take action that are more mind over heart or more heart over mind. It needs to be balanced and it needs to be um, divinely guided because your words will matter greatly. I feel like both of you guys have hope that there's opportunity for a second chance and when you are or when someone someone's going to be divinely guided to reach out to the other and they may be immature in their approach but when they do they're going to rush in but I feel like when, when they rush in they're going to be defensive it's like they want to talk to you but they're going to be defensive and they'll still be for a while this in and out communication before an offer is made there's a lot of healing that needs to be done here because of these toxicities this it, it was just like you guys were teetering too far to one side and then teetering too far to the other side and there was no balance in the situation and so this tower moment happened so that the universe could bring this back into alignment or bring you back into alignment so yeah i think you should stay in the hangman position Find a new perspective, meditate, get with yourself. And when you're divinely guided to act, that's when you take action. That's what I have for you, card number one. All right. If you chose card number two, card number two, this is for you. Card number two. What is the heart of the matter for the people that chose card number two? Please be as clear as possible. Whoa, that popped out quick. All right, we have attraction. Attraction is the heart of the matter. Man, that popped out quick. What action should the people who chose card number two take towards their lover? Or what action should their lover take towards them? What action should they take towards each other? You have the queen of cups. What action should the people who chose card number two take towards their lover? What action should their lover take towards them? Please be as clear as possible. Thank you for the clarity and the messages. Oh, we 
got the Wheel of Fortune. Boop, 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 doop. What action should the people show? Oh. We got the Seven of Swords. And whoa. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. So, right off the bat, you have two sevens here. So, you definitely should look up the um, significance of number seven in numerology, or even the significance of master number seven, seven, 77 in numerology. Um, that may hold um, some information for you. Okay, so what I see here is that there is, um, or there was a relationship, um, where there's a great attraction to someone, a very great attraction to someone, um, a lot of chemistry in the relationship, but, um, not a lot of stability, uh, I'm feeling like you guys have gone through something with this Eight of Cups being at the bottom of the deck. Someone was either holding back or withdrawn from the relationship, and some cycle ended in that relationship. I'm not sure this if this Queen of Cups, she looks sad in this reading to me. And so I'm not sure if you cut somebody out of this relationship. Um because of some sneakiness of um, them not, or them lacking integrity. And now I feel like you both are in a place where you are just assessing what went wrong. Um, and the universe is stepping in to shift this moment. Um, let's find out what you're shifting towards. Wheel of Fortune. Why is it here? Please be as clear as possible. Why is this Wheel of Fortune card here? Shifting towards someone coming back to offer a cup of love. Yep, I do see a break here. And I, I definitely feel like somebody's been withdrawn. Somebody's blocking their, their heart chakra. Somebody's blocking their heart space. Um, why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Yep, hangman position, finding a new perspective. This could be you trying to find a new perspective as to why this happened. Seven of Swords, Page of Cups, trying to come in to apologize for whatever they, they did behind your back. But what did they do? Seven of Swords, what did they do? Mm, you had a tower moment. So the universe stepped in because there was some sneakiness. They're not even telling me, so they're really sneaky. Like, I can't even see it in the cards. But there was some type of sneakiness in this relationship that I feel like is a soulmate relationship. There was someone who was very charismatic, someone who liked attention from others, um, and may have gotten caught up in their own ego. And the universe stepped in um, and kind of broke this down with this tower moment, like really you know, shocked the shit out of this relationship, saw that the foundation was faulty and knocked this person, you see this crown up here, knocked this person from a king to now a page. Somebody had to get humbled in this relationship because they were, their ego was just out of whack. It was just imbalanced. And they fell victim to the attention that they loved you know yeah I feel like they had a lot of confidence but I think it was built on like shaky ground it wasn't like real confidence it's almost as if they like gained more confidence or fake confidence through other people's attention you know and there was no true balance in this relationship because of that and so Although this king, queen of cups, who most likely is a mother, I feel like there are children involved in this. This queen of cups was taken for granted in this relationship and so much was withheld um, by the other person. Keep in mind, the queen can be a man or a woman, but this person was just kind of neglected and taken for granted and 
because the other person needed to stroke, have their ego stroke, um, it caused a rift in this relationship. Yeah, definitely. Uh, one more. Seven of Pentacles. Why is it here? Yeah. King of Cups. So we have a couple here. So you guys are either married, have been married in a, a previous lifetime, or just are in a committed relationship, but you have a lot in common. Um, this King of Cups loves you dearly. Again, the the whatever happened was because he lacked confidence. I just was shuffling at the bottom of the deck. We have the Queen of Cups again. So the Queen of Cups is on his mind. I don't know if you guys are physically separated, um, but the Queen, Queen of Cups is on the King of Cups mind. And he's looking now and reassessing and reevaluating everything that went wrong in this relationship. But this is the same king who lost his crown in this tower and was knocked down and humbled to a page. He wants to come back and apologize for whatever this sneaky energy is that he had going on. Um, let's get overall outcome. But there's that's why there's a huge attraction between you guys because you're in the same suit you have a lot in common um you love each other dearly family means a lot to you both um but yeah there was definitely some type of third party energy going on here definitely and they want to move out of that now but they don't want to be they don't want to be rejected and again they've been knocked down they no longer reign as a king. Now they're just a page. They keep showing up as a page. So again, their confidence, it was it was not what it seemed. They were wearing a false mask. But I feel like this attraction is what ties you guys together. But it's also the very thing that caused this tower and this devil energy. Because you, you both are attractive people. But this person just kind of went too far with... Um, their attraction to other things and their attraction to um, that that false ego, that imbalanced energy. They want to rush in um, and their hope is that you won't reject them. So I feel right now for you, you should just sit pretty and wait. You shouldn't do shit because you didn't do shit to fuck this up. So whoever didn't fuck it up, sit there and wait. And, and and I don't mean wait for them, but I mean, like, don't take action towards them. It, they, I feel like this is a temporary split, but you should definitely not take action towards them. At the bottom of this deck, we have reconciliation. So there is, there is an energy of a reconciliation. That's up to you because we do have free will. I'm just telling you what I see here. They're going to come back to you and make an offer to you, but... They're going to come back to you as a page because they have been humbled in this whole entire situation. So you, the action you should take, sit pretty. Sit pretty and live your life. Just live your life. Hey, whoa. All right, let's move on to card number three. What's the heart of the matter for card for the people who chose card number three? What's the heart of the matter for them? All those who chose card number three, the heart of the matter for you. Ooh, children. Your love life is being affected by children. So you either have children or you want children or you are pregnant. One or the other. What messages do we need? Whoa. To know for those who chose card number three, please be as clear as possible. First card out. Knight of Pentacles. second card out messages do we need to know for those who chose what page of pentacles stabilizing something here temperance last card for those who chose card number three a lot of pentacles ace of pentacles bottom of the deck we have the six of swords a lot of pentacles a lot of pentacles this is a very practical situation i don't see any cups here so this is a very grounded situation it's, it's valued 
but it it's lacking cups it's lacking love it's lacking emotion um your your children either those that exist now those in the spiritual realm that will come through those um with others they're the ones teaching you a lesson about love this relationship is slow moving and so temperance is here to remind you to have patience patience and growth patience and offers you have new beginnings here i mean you're you're doing it right you're building it right slow moving making sure you have a stable foundation but you don't have any cups. This just flipped out. More pentacles. You're working hard towards stabilizing this relationship. I'm not saying there's no love here. I'm just saying that there's an imbalance. There are no cups. You all are wanting to... Oh, okay. Bottom of the deck. You're wanting to move into a more loving situation. Um, that's your wish, but not your focus. It's, it's not your immediate focus. Your immediate focus is to stabilize this in every which way. Is to be patient and stabilize this. I don't know if you guys have some type of plan that you're acting upon. Um, but you definitely are wanting to ground this relationship and build an empire, a legacy for your children. Your children are the heart of the matter. Your children are what matter to you. So you all are really good at removing yourselves from this situation and having your children be the focus. And so the action that you should take is to bring yourselves back into this equation with your children. Because we need some love here. I get that you want to make your children the focus. Whether this is, again, children that are already here in existence, children in the spiritual realm. I get that you want to make them your, your focus. But you can't take remove yourself from that picture. And so the action that you need to take is to remember yourself. And remember why you all came together. Remember why you all rose in love together. And get that spark back. Yeah, somebody's either pregnant or there are children already here. But if you all continue to focus only on the pentacle side of things, I mean, I'm going through the bottom of the deck. I've gone through all these cards. I don't see cups. So where's the love? Where's the love and what will you do to reestablish that foundation, to re resurrect that loving foundation? Money isn't everything. The action you need to take is to remember love. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please, and, and this too could be, somebody who's single working towards building a relationship and just focused on money now but you need some self-love in there if that's the case okay if you liked it please subscribe uh like comment or share thanks guys bye